I am so excited. We have some beautiful dishes in front of us here at D Agostino, here with the owner and head chef, Dan Thompson. Dan, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. This was Cafe Chloe for a long time. 18 years, yeah. 18 years. And this is, this is, I love your restaurant because it's intimate. It this, is. There not a, there's not a lot of seating here, no. which means people have to make reservations on weekends, right? People have to make reservations virtually any day they want to come. What do we have in front of us right now? Tell us about So that. right here we have some antipastos, um, some of the popular dishes that we have here. Um, we actually roast these uh, peppers in-house every day. The artichoke hearts that we do in our, in our stuffed artichoke heart here, we do those in-house. Um, we peel them from, from the outside all the way down to the heart. Core of our of our goal is is, is fresh ingredients, quality ingredients, um, as much imported, authentic Italian stuff that you can get. Hey, tell us what we're looking at here. Some okay. of the dishes. So our house-made uh, bolognese sauce with fettuccine, egg fettuccine. Uh, we make this in-house, of course, with uh, red wine. Um, we also have our steamed clams here in white sauce, uh, fresh clams. Um, our fried calamari here with uh, spicy marinara sauce. Uh, linguine and clams here. Uh, this is our penne siciliana. Uh, the tortellini dish here. Uh, prosciutto, peas, porcini, and white mushrooms in a pink sauce. And our, of course our staple spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, all beef meatballs. So if you're not a pork eater, no worries there. Um, the last one over here, we have our frutti di mari. Uh, clams, scallops, shrimp, and uh, calamari. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Thank you. These are beautiful dishes. Tell us what we got here. Okay, starting from here, mm -hmm. uh, New Zealand rack of lamb. This is the Provini 14 ounce mm -hmm. uh, veal chop bone in. And then over there next to that is our classic eggplant parmigiana. This one I have heard raves about, and that's the Oso Buco. Yes. Right? This, this is uh, one of the dishes that a lot of people come in for. This is probably the number one uh, dish that people come here oh for goodness, you and, don't need a knife for this. And, and continue coming back again and again and again. Uh, again, uh, Provini veal, uh, this, this time it's a hind shank. Yeah. Uh, braised with some red wine, some aromatics, uh, six hours in a braise. Uh, during that process, it makes its own sauce. When it's finished, you, you concentrate it a little bit, but all the flavor is already there. It creates it while it's cooking and take a taste of that. It'll I said I traded in the spoon for a knife, but I think I could have used a spoon on that. You could have, yeah. That, that just came right off. <laughs> yeah, now I know. <laughs> now I know why people order that. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. All the hard work has paid off, and this is, this is a fantastic place right here at D'Agostino.